Let's have some fun with this pint-sized bread skin. What's your name, you big brave? Me Little Hawk. Little Hawk, eh? Who scalp you after, Chief? Just a minute, I asked you a question. Me looking for Durango Kid. You're what? Hey, did you hear that? He's looking for the Durango Kid. <laughs> <laughs> well, brand my britches and turn me loose on the range. Hey, what are you going to do with the Durango Kid when you find him? Burn him at the stake? You're not leaving till we've seen a war dance. Why, you? <laughs> talk to you. I hear you've been looking high and low for the Durango kid. What do you want with him? When me find him, me tell him. <laughs> you won't find him here in town, son. But I'll tell you something. As I was riding in, someone told me they just saw him out at Yellow Mesa. I thought you said I was your friend. You friend? Me not kill you. Just warning. Why you follow? Well, I, uh... You go now. Many white men want Durango for reward. You not follow. Now, just a minute. You got me wrong, son. I wouldn't harm a single hair of Durango's head. Maybe. You go now. Don't follow. Just as you say, little hawk. Someone? Me little hawk. Come many long rides to find Durango. My people in much trouble. Need much help. Durango come. What kind of trouble, little hawk? Bad trouble. White men sell Black Eagle's tribe many rifles. Indians soon go on warpath. Many dead. Durango stop them. That sounded like a pretty big order. Who's selling these rifles to Chief Black Eagle? Little hawk not know. Durango come. He find out. Me go now, tell friends Drangle come. Just a minute. what you mean, but uh, just practice, and you, you know what to say about practice. Practice makes perfect. Say, I wish you could hear the Smiley Burnett Silver Cornet Band. We can really play, I mean. I've been all the way back to Indianapolis, Indianapolis, to get us some uniforms. Here, 
Just look at that. Boy, ain't that light like downtown? Ain't that ritzy? Oh, I forgot I was going to quit talking, wasn't it, so you could get some sleep. <laughs> you men. Mount up and join the others. Remember, this is going to look like a real Indian attack. Be sure you're in town when the news breaks that Jason Fox was killed by Indians. Don't worry about my end of it. Just make certain that government man don't get through alive. He won't. He's dead. Who was he, do you know? Yeah, I know. And I'll bet you them Indians knew, too. His name was Jason Fox. He's a government man. They sent him all the way out here to see if he could find out how the engines was getting all the rifles. Tell me, who's Jim Haverly? Oh, everybody knows Jim. Him and his brother own the trading post down at Stardale. Knows more about engines than anybody in this country. How far are we from town? Well, we're far enough that Black Eagle's engines has got time to get back here and scalp all of us before we can get there. They won't be back. It's quite evident they've done what they set out to do. Well, I'm going on ahead and deliver this letter. foot again and heel and toe. Don't forget, bend the knees more and keep them bent all the time. Like Let's this, see. Uncle Jim? That's right, that's right. Now that's a trailing step with the buffalo hunt. Let's go again. Hey, hey, hey.
Better finish your chores, Billy. Well, what can I do for you, mister? Something in the line of hardware, skins, blankets, baskets? You just name it, and I reckon we got it. My name's Steve Reynolds. I'm looking for a Jim Haverly. I'm Jim Haverly. This is my brother, Joyce. I have a letter for you. A man who was killed by the Indians less than an hour ago. When did you first hear about the Indians buying rifles? Oh, about four months ago. Chief Black Eagle showed me two cases of brand new rifles. Never been used. But he wouldn't tell me where he got them. Sounds like you're pretty friendly with the chief. I am. In fact, I'm one of the few white men he'll trust. That's why I wrote the government and offered to help anyone they'd send here. I thought my influence with the Indians might save bloodshed. I'm afraid it'll take more than that now. Whoever's selling rifles to Black Eagle is making sure that peace talks will be out of the question. Anyway, I'm taking Jason Fox's job over until the government tells me otherwise. I'll appreciate all the help you can give me. You can count on that. Thanks. Another thing, uh, don't mention my connections with the Department of Indian Affairs. I'll be working on the cover while I'm here. I won't. And say, we'd better be on hand when the stagecoach comes in. There's apt to be trouble. Oh, I tell you, folks, it was just awful. There must have been at least 50,000 of them come charging down the hill, just screaming and blood in their eye. I shot at least 150 of them myself. My gun got so hot, I couldn't reload it. But what did I do? I just whips out my trusty saber, and boy, I slew at least 50 more of them. What well, Smiley. With this little knife... <laughs> well... What you don't understand is, when I started, that blade was about that much longer. I wore that down, carving up all them engines. Listen to me. I'm calling for volunteers. They ain't afraid to help me teach these Indians a lesson. That's right. We'll form a vigilante committee and run every red skin out of the country. There'll be a meeting at my place in an hour. I'm inviting every able-bodied man to be there. Seems to me that's a sure way to start Chief Black Eagle on the warpath. Well, I don't know how we can stop him. There's an old saying, if you can't stop him, join him. I think I'll have a talk with that fellow. So you can see where we have to do something about these Indians. Yeah, you're right. Oh, hello, Fred. I want you to meet a newcomer in town, Steve Reynolds. Howdy. Hello, Reynolds. He's a cattleman, looking for ranch land he can pick up cheap. There's plenty of land, but keeping cattle on it's another thing. Yeah, your partner here has been telling me about the trouble you've been having with the Indians. I've been trying to get Steve to join up with my vigilantes. We can use his gun. What's holding you back? If you're looking for good land, you'll have to fight for it. Maybe. But I think I'll give it a little more thought before I make up my mind. I'll see you both later. Yeah. You know who he really is? He's an agent for the Department of Indian Affairs. the Durango kid? Me find him. Him come. What was he like? Did you really talk with him? Me talk. Me tell him. Come see what else me find. Rifles. White men hide these. 
What white men, little hawk? It's the Drango kid. What white men hide these rifles, little hawk? You know, see faces. Keep them covered with masks. By and by, Black Eagle come for these rifles. We'll have to see that they move before he gets here. I'll ride to town and get Smiley to help. Sounds like a raid. Sounds like him come from a small teepee village. Me go see. No, you stay in the cover, little hawk. Billy, you get back to town. split up and scattered like we planned. I don't want to get them redskins plenty riled up. Rango! After him! Somewhere, get him. On your feet. Stop walking. Straight ahead. That's Hank's horse. Where's Hank? We've got Durango helpless. Reach! Nice of you to accept Raider's invitation and come to the party. You, drop that gun. to do with us. I ought to turn you over to the Indians after what you just did to them. Well, they attacked the stagecoach and killed a government man. We were just getting even. Well, from now on, I'm warning you. Leave the Indians alone. Next time, I won't waste words talking to you. You can untie your friends now. My good friends. Uh, my good friends. Today is indeed your lucky day. The Smiley Burnett Silver Cornet Band is now officially in existence. All four pieces. Tonight we're going to learn another piece, and then we'll have five. <laughs>
as I live and breathe, if it ain't little Billy. Where are you been that you're getting back so quick? Get Ring Eye and hitch him up. Me and Little Hawk has discovered where a whole bunch of brand new rifles have been hidden. You gotta get them and move them before the Indians find them. Whoa, whoa, whoa. Back up and start again now. What rifles were? Get started hitching Ring Eye. I'll show you the way. We gotta hurry. Hitch up Ring Eye right away, boys. If we get there in time, maybe we'll stop a whole massacre. here. Golly smokes. Hurry, boys. And we mustn't tell anyone else where we're going, because... Billy! Don't even tell my dad. He'll be mad at me for seeing Little Hawk again. Hi, Pop. Hi, Josh. Hi, Smiley. Billy, where in China Nation you been? I've been looking all over for you. Smiley was going to teach me to play in the band. Well, not today he ain't, because I'm figuring on you helping me make a lot of deliveries. Come along now, son. You got to find those rifles yourself. Go out Twin Peak Road. Go out Twin Peak Road. Turn off by Spring Mesa. Turn off by Spring Mesa. This looks like the place, man. Whoa! Just like Billy said. Is Black Eagle gonna be surprised when he comes to looking for them and they're not here. Steve? Hi, Jim. Tell me something. Just how much influence do you still have with Chief Black Eagle? Well, I'm not so sure now, Steve. You see, since the townspeople and the ranchers have been taking matters into their own hands, the Chief hardly trusts anybody. That's just what I'm getting at. If we don't do something pretty soon, we're going to have an Indian war on our hands. A small teepee village was raided today. What? Why, that'll give Black Eagle all the excuse he needs to make a counterattack. He's got enough braves to wipe out this entire town if he wants to. It's up to us to see that he doesn't. I get what you mean, Steve. I'll get over to Black Eagle the first thing in the morning and see if I can't smooth things over. I'll go along with you, Jim. Oh, I think I can handle it, Chief. But I couldn't guarantee that you'd be safe. Well, I'll take that chance. Let's leave it sun up. 
All right. So far, Steve Reynolds doesn't suspect me of having anything to do with selling rifles to the Indians. But we've got to watch our step. Does he suspect us? He probably does. But that won't make any difference after tomorrow. If you men do your job right. You can count on that. I want you to see that Black Eagle and his Indians get full credit. Is everything clear? Yep. Yes. Yeah. All right. We ride past Medicine Rock about an hour after sunup. Here they come. Shoot high until Jim gets in the clear. Indians, they mean business. We better separate. Black Eagle. How, Jim? I come as friend. Bring message. Many white men. For Chief's ears alone. Jim! Let go of me, you sidewinding redskins! That's Jim! He's my friend! Let go! Jim Haverly! Jim Haverly! Save me, Jim! Don't let him take me! You got influence and Smiley, they ain't got no Smiley! Right. Smiley! What are you doing here? Well, Jim, they captured me, and they captured all the boys, and they got us doing plain squaw work just because we found some rifles that was hid. Well, you're lucky they didn't burn you at the stake. Well, don't let them take me. Don't let them take me. Help! Well, don't. <laughs> oh! 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 Now about this message. White man say, Chief Black Eagle and all Indians must leave village and hunting grounds. Go someplace else. Black Eagle's people never go. If you stay, then you must make big fight. That take plenty rifle. Me make them fight. You sell them rifles. I have the rifles. Cost heap more. Plenty skins. Talk. How many skins? Leaving village now. There's nothing I'd like better. You take a message to friend Billy. Black Eagle, buy him more rifles. Talk sense. Listen, little Chief Pinfeather, just show me one good way to get out of here. Me fix. <laughs> Thank <laughs> you. 
is it, Chief? Fat prisoner try escape. Well, don't let him get away. Braves find him. Him no leave village. Hey! you know where Indians find rifles. Black Eagle. Durango. Durango not know if Black Eagle's braves are friendly. That's why no one see him in village. Durango always good friend of my people. Is Jim Havily friend of Indians? Jim, good friend. Him warn Black Eagle, white man make war. Drive Indian away. That's not true, Black Eagle. Jim Havily speak with crooked tongue. Besides, Indians start trouble. Kill many white men. No, not kill yet. White man kill, not Indian. What about the attack on stagecoach? Me hear of that. Indian not do. Black Eagle, you've been tricked. How many rifles you buy? Many. Soon buy many more. Drive white man from land. White man no longer burn villages. Make Indian go away. If I give you my word that white man never attack Indians again, will you do as I say? Black Eagle hold counsel with chiefs. And get them together. It's time this thing was settled once and for all. Everything's all set. Chief Black Eagle's ready to hit the warpath just as soon as he has the rifles. Come a-running, everybody. Come a-running. Gather around, gather around, gather around. We done it, Jim. Me and you and the Durango kid. Gather around. <laughs> What's all the commotion about, Smiley? Oh, wait till you hear it, Josh. I got news that's cause for celebration. Gather round! <laughs> what in tarnation's the matter with you, Smiley? Josh Haverly, you are now looking at Smiley Burnett, ambassador of peace, goodwill, and harmonious living. Go between for the Indians of these parts and the anxious citizens of Stardale. I come bringing a treaty, a peace treaty signed by Black Eagle and his chiefs. I got it right here. Oh. Jim, Durango Kid showed up right after you left and talked old Black Eagle into signing this peace treaty. Then he let me and the boys go so we could bring it here to show it to you. Isn't that wonderful? Boy, I'll say it is. Just a minute, everybody. I wouldn't put too much faith in this document. Well, why not? Because I think it's a trick. In fact, I know it is. Why, only this morning, some of his braves attacked me and Steve Reynolds. I managed to escape. But Steve was killed. What? What makes you so sure I was killed, Jim? Part of what Jim says is right. We were attacked by men who looked like the Indians, but they weren't. This document happens to be true. So take my advice and go along with Black Eagle's efforts to make peace. Well, Brent, what happened? Steve Reynolds too much for you? I could have sworn we got him. He tricked us in the Yeah, but well, never mind about that now. Our big job is to convince the townspeople that Black Eagle's peace offer isn't worth the paper it's written on. How are we going to do that? Yes, so all fired sure their engine trouble's over. They're planning a celebration tonight. Yes, I know, I know. But that's the time for us to move fast and hit hard. You mean stage another raid? 
Not just another raid, Brant. You and your men are gonna sack this town tonight. Now, how long will it take you to round the men up and make them look like Indians? We'll be ready. Good. Pull us off right, and Black Eagle will come crawling to us, begging for rifles. Now, on your way. And when we make our European tour, then I'll wear my alpine mustache. <laughs> <laughs> well, sir, for our last number here at this shindig now, the Smiley Burnett Silver Cornet Band will play Brass Band Polka. Ready, boys? I love to watch the band go a marching down the street. I love that Rudy Tutu with the military beat. Then the drummer lets go with a bam, bam, bam. You can hear those cornets jump. Oh, the major is a daisy and she nearly drives me crazy. You can hear my heart thump, thump. Then they play the brass band polka with the razzmatazz and the sizzle says that old slide trombone polka with a hump and a puff. They're strutting their stuff. All the kids tag along. What a band, what a day. Just a loving it all, every note that they play. I'm going to have you in my band one of these days. Oh, Steve. Have a little cider? Yeah, thanks. Hey, where's Jim? Well, he left here some time ago. Said he was going over to the Indian village to have another powwow with Chief Black Eagle. Indians! 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 It's a raid, I tell you. We haven't got a chance. I tell you, we haven't got a chance. Well, stop yelling. Stop building a barricade, everybody. the start of the fight if I'd have had a weeping. Bros, get me started, will you? Right. 
Get to her. Where's Billy? It's in the post. Take a look at that dead one over there, just to make sure. Where are you going? I'm going to follow them. I don't think they're going back to the village. Don't let him find out anything. I don't like Indians. Even live Indians, even if they ain't real Indians. Got quite a bump there, Smiley. Oh, yeah. He was trying to scalp me. That Indian wasn't dead. He was just playing possum. He jumped up and hit me three times with two tomahawks. What do you think of Black Eagle's peace offer now? There's only one thing for us to do, strike back. And strike back hard. The U.S. Army ain't here to help us, so we'll raise our own army. Send out a call for every able-bodied man to meet us just outside of town first thing in the morning. I wasn't with you before, Dodds. But I am with you now. Those Indians have got to be taught a lesson. All right, men, spread the word. Round up every ranch in the territory. Let's get started. Oh, it's you, Steve. Where is everybody? Oh, they're getting up the biggest posse you ever seen. They're going to wipe out Black Eagle's village in the morning. But Black Eagle had nothing to do with that raid. Those so-called Indians scattered in every direction once they left town. Just no use trailing them. Steve, I hate to say so, but I think you're wrong. How so? Them was real Indians. Eight of them jumped onto me when I went out there to look at that dead Indian like you told me to. Eight of them? Well, seven and a half. And you know, when we got the fires put out, there wasn't a dead Indian nowhere to be found. That proves I'm right. But it's not enough to convince that posse. They're coming in from South Gap. I'm going to meet him. That's a good idea. They got away all right. They should be hitting the teepee village in about an hour. Good. I'll get over to Black Eagle. Tell him where he can pick these rifles up for a price. Hey, look at that. Can't read them. What do they say? I know what it says. Dobbs, take two men and get over there right away. You'll find my young nephew Billy trying to signal the Indians. promised Black Eagle white men keep peace. But Durango can't stop them now. You must warn your people they will all be killed. You never spoke a true word, Billy. Let go of him. He's my friend. Round 
up, Billy. Your uncle wants to see it. Those men have got war paint still on their faces. They were in that raid on the town last night pretending they were Indians. Come on, come on. You know too much. No kid's going to spoil our deal now. You get to your dad, Billy. Tell him what happened.
dead. You would have been in another second. I'm sorry. Jim. Jim. I speak for all the citizens, Chief. White men who caused trouble have all been captured or are dead. Now maybe our two people live in peace. That's right, Chief. Like one people. Like one people. Like Durango and Steve Reynolds, maybe. Maybe. Now we have feast, much eating and dancing. <laughs>